Good morning, everybody. Well, we were on a rain delay. <laughs> yeah, off to the puppy park we go. It's actually technically still sprinkling, but what time is it? Yeah, it's supposed to pass over us here in the next 10 to 20 minutes. So in the time it takes us to get to the dog park, we should be good. Leave that leg alone. We just, I mean, we're putting bitter apple and leave it alone. We're putting all kinds of stuff on there, peroxide and bitter apple and neosporin, and this little turkey won't leave his freaking leg alone at all. Uh, it looks like I'm in frame. It, <laughs> tell you what, on the viewer, it looks like you're a lot closer than you are. Uh, and I'm thinking it's all about the image stabilization. Um, it does crop in heavy. So the only thing I can find, and finding conversion for it is next to impossible. I made the comment that it was a narrower lens. It's a 79 degree lens. They go by degrees for the Samsung. Um, so I'm having trouble finding what that is in millimeters. If anybody knows a chart I can go to, I found a couple charts, but I didn't find anything with a dead set because it looks like 79 degrees is pretty low on the millimeter list, but it should be according, but I, it misses that degree mark exact. I don't know. But I think there's a lot of uh, cropping going on as uh, a image stabilization tool. That's how these cameras work. They give themselves enough room that it can stabilize the footage. So, and I have to say, the Note 20 does have some amazing image stabilization. Because right now that thing is bouncing like crazy. If you guys are viewing this online, you won't know that. Another issue I had this morning was I went to open up the MacBook and... I charged the watch, the Galaxy watch on that last night. I opened it up and the video's not done. I'm like, what the hell? I plugged in the wrong cord to it. It wasn't charging overnight, so I think it shut down features so it didn't die. It still had 39% battery. Whoops. And one more other dumb thing I did last night. Of course, thank goodness I got up and looked outside and saw that it had, had rained. I was like, I never put my car windows up from last night when I came home. Yeah, a little, little, little dampness. It wasn't horrible in here, uh, but the windshield is. Uh, I gotta quit doing that because the windshield is uh, a mess right now. So I'm actually gonna have to turn a little bit of heat on the defroster to get this windshield cleaned up. All right, how are we doing with this? Looks like they're putting the next stage down before they actually start paving. I don't know how that works in the rain, but hey, they're the professionals. Well, the sun is trying to finally come out a little bit here for us, so that's good. Looks like the drizzle might have stopped. <laughs> come on, kiddos. Let's get moving here. Oh. Kind of curious. Okay, so ultra wide on the ultra. I just want to see. Here's the thing: the ultrawide lens on the Sony is made by Samsung. Yeah, something that I really dug into to find out who made the actual lenses. What are you doing now? Sniffing. All right, let's, get, let's keep moving. Come on. Now let's just switch over to the Sony ultrawide quick. I keep saying how good it is. Well, this is an actual Samsung phone. Let's see if they did a good job with that one. All right. Now on the Xperia One Mark II. Ultra wide lens. The non walking basset hound. <laughs> and min pin. Yeah. Day is definitely starting to change over. But I think in the 2 o'clock hour, we're supposed to see some uh, thunderstorms. Well, we're going back out in the middle of nowhere again. Pray this isn't a leisure walk. We're, we're on an actual full fledged exercise. Oh. Okay, the one thing that uh, I did not test with the Ultra is dynamic range. And we'll come down, and we'll go back up. It's, it's catching it pretty quick. I mean, it's from what I can tell, it's pretty accurate. One of the comments yesterday was about dynamic range I had. Okay, I got my sounds back on. Um, still very awkward holding it like this, but I actually feel like I have a better grip on this. 
Uh, yeah, so the one, uh, a lot of you felt the experience did so much better um, when I did the World Den test against the iPhone. But I did have a comment yesterday about the uh, dynamic range, how Sony doesn't really understand that concept, and that Apple does. And I was kind of seeing that too, I kept saying that. The clouds and stuff were blown out, and they weren't on the iPhone. So, um, Priya, I need my hand. Thank you. See, I'm trying to get moving, Dad. So, I don't know. It's Like I said, it's all in user preference, what you want it to look like which device is going to look better. Now, right now, I have the sun gleaming right in the lens. So this will be an interesting look. Okay, there's another little little thing. <laughs> I have the sound on now. Oh, no, no, no snacking, no snacking. Um, that was a complaint from a lot of Sony users about the um, Xperia, that he used the same tone for start and stop. The Samsung uses two different tones. Ultra wide. Standard camera lens. Here's where shit gets real whack. 5X. <laughs> yeah, you try holding that still while walking. Good luck. Well, Priya used to be decent with other animals, and now she's being just like him. I put his ass on the ground. I'm tired of the barking. He put his collar on this morning, otherwise he'd be different. I don't know what the hell's going on. Her collar doesn't seem to zap her ever. But we're walking. Ugh. I don't know where people get good dogs from. I need to shop harder, I guess. <laughs> so at the one mile marker, the Galaxy Watch reads out all the important information that you've reached a mile, how fast it was, uh, what your heart rate is. It didn't tell me my pace, but it is telling me that we're walking between 3.2 and 3.7 miles an hour live on the thing. So. It's kind of cool. I'm kind of digging that. I might be a keeper in the end. Seems like I got 12 months interest free. <laughs> or six months, because I did it through PayPal. But anyway, they had it on sale. Got a two-year warranty on it, and we got a squirrel on the tree. Hopefully Priya doesn't see it. I think she did. He's gone, Puddin. He's gone. Yeah, you can go investigate, but he's gone. Up the tree. Come on, Puddin. Come on, baby. All right. On our second mile, finally. Not doing good. Another 22 minute miles. We gotta pick up our pace, kids. During an exercise, the other cool thing is like when we have to stop, the Apple Watch, I have to auto pause unless I use the Nike app. The Samsung auto pauses and auto restarts nearly instantly. It knows when you've started moving again. Apple needs to work on that. So, definitely seeing similarities but I'm seeing differences some things they like better on one or the other like you cannot put the camera complication like on the screen you have to go into your settings to find it that's kind of a bummer there was a camera complication but it had like a 1.5 star and how it wouldn't install and didn't work so I didn't bother buying it I wasn't paying for that stupid app so I'm actually using the Samsung cam camera controller should make a widget for it though and they don't all right, I did a photo test the other day, so let's do a little video test. Try not to get Mateo peeing on the flowers. There is the Note Ultra 20. And the Xperia 1 Mark II. This time you get a puppy dog sniffing them. What's new? See, with my polarized lenses, I, things are a little washed out to me, but it might not look like that on video. Last but not least, the iPhone 11 Pro Max who wins the color in video. Yeah, we'll see how the ultra wide handles uh, being in the car. Oh, well, I think the readings are pretty close. It's 
It's funny though, because the second mile, I don't know if I calmed down from yelling at them or what, but my heart rate was four beats per second slower. Mile one, it was 109. Mile two, I was 105. So, oh, but we got it done. I noticed the other day too, this thing how it was clinking a lot, and I'm not sure why. But I had it in there quite a bit against. And the case I got for it, um, is a Samsung clear case, but it has the kickstand on it. I think that kind of messes it up a little bit in the uh, charging cradle because that there's a raise there where the kickstand sits. I'm digging the white. I really like the white. And to be honest with you, I, I did not plan on liking this device at all, but uh, I am. I've come to the realization, and of course, I've known this. I don't think, at least for quite a while, a cell phone is ever going to compete against the likes of the Sony RX100 series or like the Canon G7X. It's just not there. One inch sensor versus, you know, whatever sensors they're putting in these now. I know they're getting bigger, but it's still just not going to pull the detail. But it does work as a nice backup camera. So, I don't know. I can, I can try these tests out all to my heart's content, but I think when the end of the day comes, the, you know, your point-and-shoot cameras are just designed for it more. And they're going to be better, they're going to be clearer. But where the cell phones are excelling in, like the GoPro does, is stabilization. Uh, there's what I see. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's an aggressive looking design with that camera housing, I'm telling you. They're not trying to hide the cameras in any way on that thing. But I just, I'm digging the white. I really like the white finish. All right, so the one thing I'm not figuring out here with the Apple Watch exercise thing is, so yesterday, I had like hardly any minutes of exercise, but I had my calories burned. Today we take a 30, we get 38 minutes of exercise and 265 calories burned. I don't understand why <laughs> now it can be so different. Well, tree cutting has begun. I don't think they have all the gutters up yet, but the tree cutting has begun. The other side hasn't even been touched yet. Yeah. It's going to be noisy today, buddy. Yep, they are. Good. What are you guys doing? Hmm? Hmm? You singing? These hmm? hmm? birds. Beauty birds. Pretty birds. Mossy, what you doing, buddy? Let's get him. Harper. Partly's back there. On her own. <laughs> and then all the blue ones I get confused with. Alright, so in editing already this morning, I'm gonna go with the <laughs> what I was seeing on the camera when I filmed those flowers it was accurate on the Sony. It was blown out. The yellow was just crap. The orange ones were over overdone. Really weird. The iPhone and the Note looked pretty spot on. Pretty comparable with each other. Funny thing with slow motion, now when I send the footage over it, it actually it's in a slow motion file or it's filmed at a higher frame rate. But it's um It's filmed at a higher frame rate, but when it comes out of the, it, it just, that's all it is. It's like in 120 frames per second instead of being actually in slow motion, and I have to slow it down with Final Cut. Now I have the file on the iPhone that I can run through iMovie and then export it, and it will actually start it off in normal motion, then slow it down, and then end it in slow motion, or in normal motion again, excuse me. Um, and I might just see if there's any difference there, but just by doing auto speed on Final Cut, it damn near made it as slow, not quite, almost, as super slow motion on the Note, which I thought was like 920 frames per second. I don't know, it was pretty, it was kind of interesting to, to see, it feels like the camera is like this, but it's aiming at me perfect, so I'm not going to move it. I'm not sure what that bumping around is, unless it's the, uh, the button for the charger on the screen 
but it like comes and goes. So it was really bad at one point and then it went away at the park. So maybe the phone settled in. <laughs> I am gonna go fill up with gas. I left a little bit early and then off to Wally World we go for the day and it is reclouding up. I'm hoping if it's decent at lunch, I might walk up to the park and do some duck photos and stuff. Again, with all three cameras, but that's another question I have is, do you guys want to see a comparison of the Note against the iPhone separately, and then the Note against the Sony separately, or do you want to see a triple camera comparison all at once? I can do both, so I kind of want to leave it up in the uh, your guys' hands which way you want to see it. I think it might be too much to focus on unless you watch the video multiple times to see to try to focus on three different cameras, but hey, you can try to do it in one, one shot and be done with it, and if not, I'll just double film everything a day. Well, that was a fiasco. Go to pump the first pump, I'm just getting air. Go to the second pump, just getting air. Go to the third pump, I'm getting a trickle of freaking gas. Took me, I'm, now I'm running way behind. I've got like eight minutes to be to work. Well, for me. <laughs> Oh my God, she was like, well, we got a fuel delivery yesterday and people were not, you know, they were still pumping gas and when they have those caps open, it sucks air in. It's a pressurized system. <sighs> Alrighty guys, it is time to go home. Thank goodness, that is this, this 10 o'clock thing. I know it shouldn't be like it's a huge leap in time, but <laughs> it sucks so bad. Because... <laughs> We're not very busy, first of all, so time drags. It's time to get home, get the puppies for a little walk, import the videos. All right, let's see how the uh, note handles low light with the Ultra One. What you doing, Priya? Hmm? What you doing? <laughs> Five times zoom is close. Come here, puppy. Why are these people going out? One down, one to go. Alrighty guys, well I am home obviously. Got myself a little bit of mac and cheese with uh, zucchini in it. Snack on it and I'm going to get this bad boy editing and get to bed because I want to try to get up in the morning. Get out of here by 6, 6.15. Get over to the puppy park with these guys. And then get home and get ready for work at 9 o'clock. So wish me luck. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. <laughs>